In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer your WhatsApp data from your Android device to your iPhone or also from your iPhone to your Android device. In most cases, from iOS to iOS, it's quite easy because you can do a, an iCloud backup or if you, if you do an Android to Android device, it's quite easy because you can do a backup through your Google Drive. But if you're going to transfer WhatsApp data across platforms, that will be quite challenging. I know there's a software that is moved to iOS, but that will only allow you to transfer your data from Android to iOS if your iOS device is actually from a reset mode. That means you're setting it up from scratch. But the one I'm gonna show you is just transferring the WhatsApp data across Android to the iPhone and also from iPhone to the Android. The software I'm talking about is actually the i tool lab. So they have multiple softwares um, that, that they provide, which is like AnyGo, changing your GPS, What's Go, which is the device that we're going to talk about today. All right, so let's go to the app What's Go. This app will actually allow you to transfer your WhatsApp uh, or WhatsApp business from Android and iOS across the platforms. It, they claim that it's quite easy to transfer. That would include your WhatsApp messages, uh, your videos, your images, contacts, etc., which I'm going to show you uh, step by step. And they have a comparison here as well based on their website. And just to highlight, this will only, um, this will only work on Windows uh, computer. So it doesn't work on Mac. It's actually trusted with like a few tech websites. As you can see that this is compatible to like the scenarios that I mentioned earlier. So this will transfer the data, messages, images, audio, status, your contacts, docs, stickers, links, and so on. All right, so basically you have to install the software in your computer and we're going to, um, we're gonna show you the experience they have or the step-by-step -step process that I did to, to do the transfer. All right, so it seems pretty simple, but there's also a complete guide, a step-by-step -step guide in this website if you want to um, check that out. And you can download this for free, but for transferring, you can either go for the one month plan, there's a one year plan, or there's a lifetime plan. But basically, what you usually do is just transfer it one time, or probably just transfer it like maybe in a few days that you'll be doing this process. Let me go ahead and download the What's Go app. Okay, so it's um, saved on my computer. It's downloaded on my computer. And now I'm going to install this app. Um, we're just gonna do this step by step. Probably gonna speed up some of this process. So right now it's installing. All right, now we have it installed. So we have the WhatsApp Go in this computer. Okay, so there's a start button. You can actually do a backup. You can do a restore. That I'm going to connect an Android phone, which is my Xiaomi 12 Pro. And I'm gonna transfer it to my iPhone 10. So right now I'm just going to transfer the WhatsApp data from my Xiaomi to the iPhone and I'm going to use iPhone as the main WhatsApp device. And before you can do the transfer, you will be prompted to purchase it because right now you can just do a backup but you're going to restore and um, I have a license key. You can actually do this prior to doing the process so that you won't be uh, stopped. So I'm gonna enter the license key. I'm gonna activate this software. All right, now it's fully activated so we can do the transfer. All you have to do is to hit the trans transfer button. And uh, when you transfer, it's gonna show you some of the steps that you need to do on the, uh, on the phone. Like for the Xiaomi 12, it's asking me to enable the install via USB. And also for the iPhone, you have to like do something on the settings. You have to turn off the Find My iPhone. They have pictures, so that it's quite easy for you to follow. Okay, it's gonna show you what are the files that it's going to transfer, and you can you have an option to untick any of these if you don't want to. Uh, first things first is it's gonna uh, do a backup, but it is asking us to turn on the 64-bit end-to-end encryption. Uh, WhatsApp has mentioned that doing the encryption, actually even WhatsApp or iOS or Android doesn't have any um, any record of the encryption, only you has the record of your encryption. So it is quite safe and your data is secured. 
All right, now it's transferring. Let's just speed this up. And of course, you will be prompted to enter your 64-bit encryption key before you can actually transfer the data over to your iOS device. Once it's done that, it will continue the rest of the process. And the transfer is successful. So my WhatsApp data from my Android is now on my iPhone. So all I have to do is activate the WhatsApp on my iPhone, uh, put in the SIM card so that it will be easier, and then the WhatsApp data will be there. It will be restored just like that. And then now I'm going to show you how to transfer your WhatsApp data from your iPhone to an Android device. So it is a similar process, but there is some slight uh, steps at, at the somewhere at the end. But basically, it will guide you through um, like through the process. So you don't have to worry. There will be pictures. There will be um, like uh, instructions that will be given. So same thing, you have to connect your iPhone as a source and then uh, the destination will be, I'll be using now my Xiaomi 12 Lite. So it will be transferring all the things that I've mentioned earlier, which is quite convenient. And just like that, all you have to do is just to click the transfer and you are able to transfer your data from your iOS to an Android device. All right, so that's it for today's video. If, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you're interested on this software, there's a link in the description below. It goes to i2 Lab. And at the time of this video, there are some discounts that they have applied. So make sure you check that out. And I'll see you on the next video.